Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't pushed that subscribe button yet, I hope you'll do so today. Today is a DIY, but it's going to be very weird and very strange because it's backwards. I already filmed this DIY showing you how I did my projects, but somehow the video did not transfer to my computer. So I'm going to show it to you backwards with finished products and uh, items and then how I did them. So let's get started. I took this sample from the Dollar Tree, almost everything's from the Dollar Tree, and I painted the back of it just so I could, or the front of it rather, just so I could show you uh, how I, what techniques I used. It is just, it has this cat, space cat on it, and I just painted half of it black with chalk paint and half of it silver with chalk paint so I could show you the technique I used on almost every project, okay? Um, and I'm going to use it for another project, but I just wanted to be able to show you. I hope you're all having a great day. And um, I was having a great day until last night when I could not transfer my video. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, first thing I want to show you is how I use this rub and buff gold uh, metallic it's like a cream, antique gold. I got it at Hobby Lobby. It also comes in silver, I believe. So what I, it, it's a, just a little tiny tube, but I'll tell you, it lasts forever. So I squeeze just a little bit off, and if you keep the tube, the top on it real tight, it'll last forever. So what I do is I just put a little bit on my finger, and then I just rub it on, okay? And it kind of gives the wood a uh, texture or a little bit of um, background, okay? And you can get a lot on or you can just get a little bit on. Now, I always keep my background paint nearby in case it gets on a little bit too much. See how much I got right there? I don't want it to be that much, so I just take my my background paint and I just kind of dry brush it over so it's not that dark, okay? This is a great thing to do if you're doing um, like picture frames that are 3D and um, or a mirror and you wanna add a little bit of a fancy to it. You can do it on any color. You can do it on uh, black, white, uh, any color at all and like if it's got squirrels on it and you just want to fancy it up a little bit you can take this gold or silver and just rub over the squirrels and give that kind of a look to it all right so there you go that's a little heavy but that's okay you can go as light or heavy as you want to now I don't have the silver rub and buff but I do have the silver sophisticated finish finishes silver metallic surfaces and this is liquid and it works basically the same way um, I really like the rub and buff better but I'm gonna shake this up real good and put a little bit in a dish here Just, oh I did a lot more than a little bit I'm gonna try and pour it back in here without spilling it because you just need a drop, just a drop. Okay, there. And now I need a brush. Let's see, there's a brush here. I'm just gonna take a brush, I'm gonna dab it in there, and I'm gonna kinda dry brush it off, dab it off, and then I'm gonna brush it on. See, so I got, just added a little bit of texture to it. That's all there is to it, okay? That's on the black. Now I also, oh, there was my brush part. Now I'm also gonna show you on the silver side, I can use the gold. Get it on my fingertip, 
dab it off. Now the thing is when you do this, you wanna go with the grain of the wood and you, on, you wanna go only one way, okay? You don't wanna go against, I mean across the grain of the wood. You only wanna go one way and it's good if you go along the edges. And of course, if I was gonna do this, I would do along the, um, along the outsides too. But there it is on the silver. So we've got the gold on the black, the silver on the black, and the gold on the silver, okay? Now that's the technique that I used on all of these projects that I'm gonna show you today that are already finished, okay. Let me close everything up so I don't spill anything. All right, so the first project that I'm gonna show you, put this over there, are these. And you know, these little houses that you can always get at Dollar Tree. And I have to tell you, these are the ugliest home decor items I've ever seen at Dollar Tree. They came with this red, foam flower, pink foam flower, and this blue and green foam leaves. Ugly, ugly, ugly. So I got them and I painted them black, two coats of the black um, chalk paint. And um, then I used my silver and I uh, did that dry brush uh, technique. And um, then I bought three, I bought packages of the create your own ornaments and there's five large Christmas trees in a package so I got one package of those I got one package of the large uh, snowflakes and I got one package of the Mary's with the um, reindeer at the end uh, for the Y okay and then I got one package of the smaller ones that had the small snowflakes, the smaller Christmas trees, and the sparkly stars, okay? And then I bought a package that had 12 small ribbons, red and green, all right? So I took the, took the green, I took the Christmas trees, painted them green, one large, two small. Then I took my handy dandy pen, paint pen, one side gold, one side silver, and I painted, I just touched up the gold, the leaf, no, wait a minute, the branches on the Christmas trees with the silver, kind of made it look like snow. I hot glued those on, big Christmas tree in the middle, two little Christmas trees, and put a red bow at the top, okay? That was one, I got three of these. Then I took the large snowflakes and the two small silver, uh, small, snowflakes. I painted them with my silver chalk paint, which it would be better if I didn't put my fingers over it. But then they weren't too sparkly, so I took the other end of my sil uh, paint pen and I just went over it with the silver, hot glued those on, put a red bow at the top. Then I took the Mary with the reindeer at the Y. I painted the Mary with the gold end of the paint pen. Took a little red acrylic paint and gave them a red nose. Took the gold stars out of the pack, put those on and put the red bow at the top. So if these will stand up, I will show you what they're supposed to look like. And there you go. That's that project. Very easy. And I still have all those extra reindeer with the horn, uh, Mary with the reindeer at the end. I still have four more Christmas trees. I still have four more snowflakes to play with because those packages had five in them. All right. And more bows. All right. So that's that project. Okay, next project, I went and I got these picture frames. Now they were white, but the reason why I got them is because they had these beautiful beads on the top. 
Well, and that's why I really wanted them was for the beads. Well, I could not get the beads. They were stapled on the back. And that I'm telling you, I don't know who put the staples in, but it must have been a real muscle man. So I ended up cutting the, sta the strings off. And then I tried painting them with my black acrylic paint. Forget it. It was like water going on. I think these must have been painted or coated with an oil. So I rubbed the acrylic paint off, and then I tried doing it with the chalk paint. That didn't, it crackled when it dried. That didn't work either. So I ended up taking the frames out into a box outside and painting them with this 2X Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. And it took three coats for each picture frame to uh, cover them. But it did do the trick. So I painted all three picture frames um, with that Rust-Oleum. And... Um, you know, you just popped out the back. It just had those little metal things. I popped out the back and painted the inside with the chalk paint. Worked just fine on the back. Um, then I brought in the picture frames and they were glossy. I didn't want them to be glossy. So I gave them two coats of the chalk paint to bring down the glossiness, okay? Then I took the inside and I used my rub and buff and gave it a little, I think maybe you can see where I did a rub and buff on the uh, inside. Then I rub and buffed the uh, frames and you can see where I tried to go with the grain and I did do the edges, see? I did the edges because you're gonna be able to see the edges, all right? And then I bought, I found these beautiful ornaments. I just think they're beautiful. I do uh, decorate a lot in gold and silver for Christmas. I know a lot of people like the red and green and I'll be showing you some red and green um, ornaments, uh, decorations and things that I do later. But um, these I did in gold and silver. So I found the round ornament, the star ornament, and the Christmas tree ornament. And they did. I left the strings on them because there were no hangers in the back. So I left the strings on them and there you go, the three uh, picture frames with the gold ornaments inside. I just think they're so pretty. Of course, all I did was hot glue those in, nothing to it, very easy. Once I got the frames painted, there was nothing to it, uh, to the project at all. All right, the last project that I did was I went and bought three, you know, there's a lot of hot glue on this one. I haven't pulled off all the strings. I went and bought three of these canvases, you know, the home decor. They have all kinds of things on it, you know, um, bless this home. There's just all kinds of things. So um, I bought three of them, two this size and one smaller. Brought them home, painted them with my silver chalk paint, okay? Did my rub and buff silver. Now, two of them I did, there are hangers on the back of this one, this frame. Two of them I did up and down like this so I could hang them up. But, and I was gonna do the third up and down, but when I put them together, it looked too matchy match. So two I did up and down, and one I did left to right. Then I got the, a package of the words in silver one was peace, believe, and joy. So I got a package of three of those and I painted them black with my chalk point paint, chalk paint. But, you know, the chalk, the silver's a little hard to cover and I wanted to give it, I don't know whether you can see this or not. Yes, you can. I wanted to give it a, a 3D effect, which isn't easy to do on silver. So I took, that was silver, wait a minute. I took my paint on the silver word and I dabbed it real thick, real, real thick on the letters, okay? I dabbed it real thick and let it dry. And that, when it dried, it kind, it kind of made the letters bumpy, all right, which is what I wanted. So 
when the letters were bumpy, I could then take my rub and buff and go over the letters and it made them, see how it is kind of bumpy? And it kind of picked up the bumps the rub and buff did, okay? So I painted the canvases silver with the silver uh, chalk paint. Then I used my rub and buff. Then I painted my letters. Then I hot glued my letters on. Then I got, you know, these packages that you can get of the, let's see, what's it called? Jewel border stickers. Love them, love them, love them. They stick right on, no hot glue needed. You just tear them off the package and glue them on. And um, I save all the little pieces because I'm going to decorate them with something later, okay? Now I'm going to um, set them up and show you how they look because I don't want to hang these on the wall. I want to set them up. So I'm going to show you how they will look when they are finished. Well, they are finished when I get all the glue off. So there's peace. These are really easy to do. Let's see. There's the cat screaming. Okay, there's peace. I thought those came out real pretty. So that is my DIY backwards showing you the finished product and how I did them. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, you know I'm trying to hit 100 by the middle of November subscribers for my birthday, and I sure wish you would help me out. Um, I know you have friends who like to craft and do inexpensive crafts, um, and so I wish you'd uh, help me out with that. You know, you have friends and co-workers and sisters and sister-in-laws and daughters and daughter-in-laws that like to do easy, fun, inexpensive crafts, and this is it. Also, I'm waiting for my Ipsy Glam Bag. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but it's not. So if someone you know likes makeup, be sure and invite them to come and visit. And um, Dollar Tree, I like to do Dollar Tree, and all these, all these items except for that uh, paint, the chalk paint. I've never seen chalk paint at Dollar Tree. And that uh, spray paint were from Dollar Tree and the rub above. Some of it's from Hobby Lobby, but most of it's from Dollar Tree. So I sure wish you'd invite people to come and visit our channel. I sure, my channel, I sure wish you'd um, invite them to come and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I appreciate you. And I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. And thank you so much for visiting. And remember to be kind to everyone because there's a lot of crazies out there.